Well, thank you all. I'm Congressman Bill Foster. I sometimes introduce myself as saying I represent 100% of the strategic reserve of physicists in the United States Congress. But I'm also 100% of the strategic reserve of integrated circuit designers, I believe, and, um, and probably uh, one of two known AI programmers in the U.S. Congress. Um, you know, when, when I couldn't stand it, a, oh, probably about two government shutdowns ago, when a certain senator was holding the floor, uh, reading Green Eggs and Ham. I just said, I can't stand this anymore, and I worked through the um, uh, the tutorial for TensorFlow, which may be familiar to some of you in this room, which is uh, Google's open source um, AI engine. But, you know, I just want to say that, um, you know, how proud I am of all the work that went into these apps. And it is really, um, you know, it's going to be the future, and the future is changing uh, just at, at a breathtaking pace. But what you're going to need to have uh, is the ability to just look at the, the next technology that comes down the pipe um, and and put it to good use rapidly. And it's a you know it's a, it's a real challenge. I mean, how many of you, for example, have tried using ChatGPT to make an app? You realize that's a thing? Yeah, okay, it's a thing. And so, you know, back when when my kids were going through school, you know, the big thing then was everyone's supposed to learn HTML. All right, because everyone was going to be maintaining their own, you know, 1990 styles web page. Okay, and now we have, you know, many billions of people maintaining their own web page in the form of, you know, their Facebook page or something like that. And so that doesn't mean that there's no use in learning technology and understanding, um, you know, the the best use of it right now, because uh, you're going to be involved in not only implementing it, getting the economic benefit of it, but also you're going to be involved in the policy. Uh, because, you know, I, I can design computer chips. I can and have designed very complex computer chips. And that's almost irrelevant uh, to trying to figure out how we should control the influence of social media on our population. And, but you still have to have an understanding of what the underlying technology is. And that's one of the reasons that I'm just so, so proud of this program. And I especially have to um, especially congratulate the winners from the Illinois 11th District, uh, uh, Sonit Sahu and Max Nestenko, um, students at Thaler uh, Hill Middle School in Naperville, Illinois, where I'm from, who won for their Quizmania app. Um, you know, it's a, I guess there were over 9,000 contestants and 2,700 apps submitted, um, and that doesn't count the ones submitted by G Chat GPT. And so, you know, it's it's no small thing to be among the winners, and everyone back home in the 11th district is very proud of all your work. Um, but, but I just want to, um, you know, I wish I had a chance to talk to you. This is a too big a room. You know, one of the things that my staff has discovered is that when I get really grumpy about this job of being, you know, sort of uh, the pet scientist in the in the U.S. Congress, is that getting me in front of young kids uh, is really cheers me up. And so I want to thank all of the all of the teachers and everyone who supported the, the work here too, because this is it's really crucial. Um, you know, when you make something and it doesn't really work, uh, and you just say, oh, the heck with the whole thing, it's nice to have that adult saying, keep at it. Um, and that when you finally get it so it actually, you know, doesn't crash, that it's, um, it, it's something that, um, that you can share that joy doing. I know, yeah, my son and I every Christmas celebrate the time that I taught him to code. Um, and, with, and now he's off, you know, being a big successful patent lawyer and stuff like this. But it's it's really important. And so every Christmas we get together and we have a new software project. And you know, every Christmas it seems like they've updated Python, so all the old stuff doesn't work, and you got to reinstall all the library. Yeah, okay, there's some recognition for that disease. Um, maybe it's in the process of being fixed, but. Um, but it's really, um, it's great to see. Uh, it's great that, that, you know, I can sort of look at the list of these, um, of these apps and their, you know, and, and their capabilities and understand the work that must have gone into them to make them work. So I have a tremendous amount of respect for you. Um, and it's also really important to the future security of our country to have competent people. And this is a, you know, it's a tough thing to think about because it used, you know, three generations ago, you know, my father's generation, uh, defending the nation meant to, you know, getting in a boat on D-Day and, um, and getting shot at with, high, with machine guns. 
and going onshore anyway. But our country is under threat from things that appear on your screen with nothing but the internet between them. And so that's one of the reasons why there is no substitute for having some fraction of our youth um, competently engaged in technology. Uh, so that if, um, when I was growing up, we, we made the mistake of sort of discrediting uh, people that worked in national security. But part of you, some of you in the audience here should consider that. Because it's going to, it's, it's one of the things like, um, like uh, you know, all the people that make sure our nuclear weapons actually work. You know, it's something they, they hope is never going to be used, but it's important that we have competent people doing that. Um, and it's equally important, maybe more important now, that we have competent people in cyber defense and understanding that. So consider that when you... When you've you know made your second billion dollars and say what do I do next? Maybe spending part of your life um, you know in service to your country uh, might be something to consider as well. Anyway, I just want to thank you and everyone that's involved in this. Um, you make us all proud. Thank you.